It's CEO here, and the 2.0 update introduced so many new features and gameplay. So in this video, I will go over some of the features that you missed. Let's get right into it. First up is the enhanced customization of items. This new feature lets you customize any item you can buy from Nook's Cranny that also comes in multiple colors. In comparison, you only were able to customize DIY items. This is amazing because now it's easier than ever to collect all the color variations of a single item. This is also very helpful if you don't do multiplayer because your island will only ever sell one of each color of item. For example, this espresso machine in my Nook's Cranny is red, and I will only ever see the red color sold in my Nook's Cranny on this island. But now, you can take this espresso machine over to Cyrus on Harv's Island, and he will customize it in any color that the item typically comes in. You also get to see all the color variations of the item. If you don't have Harv's Island unlocked yet, watch this video where I show you how to do it. Harv's Island has so many new features, and if you don't have it unlocked yet, you're missing out. All you do is pay Cyrus, and now your item is customized in the color you want. This is so helpful as well if you're trying to complete your catalog, because just by customizing an item, that color variation gets added and you can reorder the item in that color. The second feature are all the new camera filters in the camera app. We now have new filters like painting, retro, surveillance, and fisheye lens. This gives you a lot more creativity when it comes to taking photos of your island and villagers. The surveillance filter looks like Tom Nook is spying on you wherever you go. And the fisheye lens just looks insane, I love it. The third new feature is Red's raffle box, also located on Harv's Island. For 500 bells, you can win a variety of new prizes like soda, coffee, juice, donuts, ice cream cones, books, fans, and more handheld items. Many of these items were only in the game as exclusive items that your villagers could hold, but now you get to enjoy them as well. If you want to learn how to get ice cream and donuts super fast, watch this video where I show you how to do that from Red's Raffle Box. Fourth up is group stretching. You may have noticed this new radio sitting in your plaza. If you go up to it and turn it on, you can do some group stretching with your villagers and NPCs on your island, like Brewster and Cap'n. You can use your Joy-Cons to follow along to get a good stretching session in IRL, but you can also use the buttons and joysticks if you just want to play in-game. The fifth new feature is probably something you didn't notice when you first loaded up your game after updating. Isabel will have mentioned the introduction of these new island ordinances. These ordinances are type of laws that you can enact on your island and apply to every villager, every store, everyone on your island. There are four types of ordinances. The Night Owl Ordinance makes your villager stay awake later and has the store stay open later. This is great if you play mostly at night. The Early Bird Ordinance is the opposite and makes your villagers wake up earlier and makes the stores open earlier, which is great if you like to play Animal Crossing more in the morning. The Beautiful Island Ordinance makes your island more beautiful by making villagers pull up weeds and helps your flowers grow faster. This is great if you like to time travel and your island is full of weeds, or if you're trying to grow hybrid flowers and you want them to spawn faster. This ordinance will increase the rate of which flowers spawn, thus making it easier to get hybrids. And the last one is the Bell Boom Ordinance, which makes every sell price on every item increase, but it also makes every item more expensive to buy. So you're getting more money for your items, but also costs more to buy the items you want. You'll want to decide which ordinance is best for your playing style, but you can always change it in the future or simply not enact an ordinance at all. So in theory, you can change your ordinance depending on your style of play, and if that changes over time, you can always change your ordinance to be the most helpful for you at the time. The sixth new feature are gyroids. You may have seen these cute little characters, but not sure how to get them yourself. You actually have to grow these gyroids by burying a gyroid fragment, and you can only get these fragments from a Cap'n mystery island. A ride with Cap'n costs 1,000 miles, and be sure to bring a shovel with you so you can dig up the fragments. You'll also want to bring a ladder and vaulting pole in case the fragments are located on a cliff or you need to get across a river. When you get back to your island, bury the gyroid fragment and also be sure you water it or it won't grow. If you don't water it, the next day when you dig it up, it will still be a fragment. Now the next day, go dig up the spot and a fully grown gyroid will now be yours. You can also customize the gyroids as they come in a variety of fun shapes and colors. Just make sure you have a customization box to do so. You can also place a gyroid on the ground and press A to make it play a distinct noise. And the seventh feature, which does have to do with gyroids, is that you can put a gyroid in the same room as a stereo and it will bounce and sing along with the music. You can also use multiple gyroids in a room to make a gyroid orchestra. It's super funny to watch and it's super cute and I highly recommend you do it. Another thing you could do is place gyroids on the wall. Simply hover over the gyroid and select place on wall and then you have a little shelf your gyroid can dance and sing on top of. 
And lastly, Brewster is finally here, and I know you already know that. But there is so much more you can do in the roost than simply drink coffee. There is an entire secret gameplay where you can earn exclusive prizes from Brewster and even befriend him, just like you can befriend your island residents and get their photo from them. I will be making an entire video about Brewster's secret game, so be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to get notified when I post a new video because you won't want to miss learning all these new Brewster secrets. There are just so many new features, it's kind of overwhelming. I was overwhelmed. But I hope this video helps you navigate the update a little more so you can get the most out of all the new exciting things and discover some secrets you may have not known about. Let me know in the comments which secret feature you didn't know about yet. I personally didn't know you could put gyroids on the wall until today, so hopefully you can take advantage of that new secret feature as well. I hope this video helps you, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.